<clears throat> Let's see how this works tonight. It's Friday, Friday. Do, 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 do. Friday, Friday, Friday. All right. Woohoo. I'm going to try something a little new. Instead of my iPad, I've got my Chromebook. So we'll see if I can uh, see comments a bit better. Not sure. We'll find out. I'm just trying to adjust so that you guys can see everything. Or if I should make it closer. You know, all that good stuff. So anyway... It's Friday, yay! You made it through the week and it's the long weekend. How awesome is that? Thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. I always appreciate you coming and stopping in and saying hello. I've been, uh, I've been playing around with these sets. We were doing some boho indigo, which I love the paper with this stuff. And then um, been playing with these sets and it's funny I really like this milk jug but I really like this flower like I almost want to like mix and match different pieces from different sets this one has some really nice sentiments this one has no sentiments so anyway so I've been playing kind of with the both of them because I find they're fairly interchangeable and you'll see why in a few minutes so um, I also wanted to show you the other rabbit hole that I kind of went down. I ordered this at the beginning of my quarantine to keep me busy. And because, of course, it's paper. It's these miniature things. I wonder, I, I see it on my Facebook feed all the time. I don't know if you do, but I do. And uh, not that I necessarily want to, you know, give them any more business. But holy cow, it is so much fun. So you can either make like the little stuff that you make is either with like little pieces of balsa wood or it's made out of paper. So like this is all made out of paper that you cut out and roll up. And this one here is all made out of paper. Like look how cute this is. So cute. So I've been playing with that stuff. Like look at this. It's like a little suitcase. Do you see a little suitcase? It's got the little hooks and the little handle. And then you put the little greenery in it and the flowers. It is so adorable. I just love this. So anyway, I've been playing with that. It, uh, you don't see that on, uh, on your Facebook feed, Pam? Maybe it's just me because, uh, you know, I love paper. So I've gotten most of it done. I just have to finish putting it together. Like you get this like little, it's so cute. Anyway, I'll take a picture of it after it's done. It, it can be really focused, but it's so much fun. Uh, tomorrow is the last day for Paper Pumpkin. So if you wanted to register for the Paper Pumpkin, uh, it will be eight elegant holiday cards. So uh, you can go to, if you're on my Facebook page, you can click on uh, the link to the Stamping Up, which is paperdelights.stampingup.net, and you can register. It's $30 a month if you just want to do the one month and just do the one month. I usually do like three months. So if you do three months, it's about $80. So yeah, about $82, $83 for three months. And you can pick and choose what months you want it to come, and it's, it's they're really, really nice. So... All right, so this one, you guys can help me decide. So like I was saying, I've sort of been doing a combination of the sets. So I did this stamp for the jar, um, and then this stamp for the flowers. I really liked that flowers. So my idea was, this is from the In Good Taste paper. I love it, so many awesome sheets of paper. And it's all on sale right now, too. Don't forget that all the papers are on, well, not all the papers, but a good portion of papers are on sale right now. So I've ordered a bunch more. It's going to be so much fun. So my idea was to put that like that, and then this like this, and then a little hello tucked in behind like that. But my question is, 
do we want a bow or should I wrap the twine around and make a bow with the twine? So you think on that and I will glue this down. I have run out of adhesive and the store in which I go and get my adhesive has also run out of adhesive and so I am <laughs> using these teeny tiny little things of adhesive because that's all I have left. It's pretty funny. You know you're crafting a lot when you run out of adhesives. So there we go. So you like either bow. Okay. Oh, that would be great, Pam. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've put it in the order. I just, it hasn't arrived yet. As you know, sometimes things take a little while. So we could do the twine and wrap the twine around a couple of times. Come sa. What do you think? Do something like that. Or do we just want to put the bow? What do you think? Kind of like the twine the twine's kind of pretty kind of has a similar texture to the uh the background so let's see if i can tie a little bow today so does everyone have big plans for thanksgiving long weekend i am having the traditional willie's pizza it's going to be delish i'm telling you i can't wait our family is not uh I mean, we like turkey and all, but it's not something we need to have, you know? And so, and I'm fortunate because I've been in quarantine with the whole um, infusion. We feel that the risk would be fairly low to go and see my parents. So we are going to go and see my parents and my son. He will be banished to a chair by the patio door only because he's had the most exposure so he felt comfortable it was actually his suggestion he wanted to do that because he didn't feel comfortable being right with them so so that is our family plans oh and Wes's chips if you've never been to Wes's chips well you're gonna have a turkey Pam do you make it or uh, do you order it do you make your own uh, turkey stuff or do you order it we have willies probably mm, I'd have to say a couple times a week we oh, at least once a week yeah every Thursday is pizza because then we have leftovers on Friday for lunches <laughs> that's how we do it and so Wes's chips and arm pies yes this weekend, Monday is their last day for the season. So I will definitely have to take a nice drive out to Arm Prior for some Wes's chips. If you've never been, oh, I highly recommend. They only sell French fries. That's it. That's all. Like there's nothing else on the menu is French fries and pop. Um, but they are so, so good. So good. And I realized when I put my backing on that I had to put this on. So give me two seconds while I attempt to fix this. Because I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. And I got to make sure I put my thing on the right way. Otherwise, that's going to not be so good either. There. Okay. There. There, that was my idea for that one. And I just, I know, it. I thought putting the, the, the thing on the back and behind is just a little different, you know? It's, it's not something that you would typically see in the cards. Like, they usually put it in front of it and all of that stuff. But I thought it would look kind of cute from behind, just sort of poking out. A little hello poking out from behind. So that was... I'm not a deer for that one, but I think it needs some 
the jewels here. Let me move my, see, look at that. Look at all those things, I'm telling you. So much fun. Let me move that out of the way. And I'll grab maybe some pretty pearls. You get yours from the superstore. Do you cook it yourself or do you get it? Because some people I know like order it from from different restaurants or, or what have you. And I thought about doing that, but ah, we'll get a nice all dressed pizza and call it a day. There we go. All right. So there's our first card. It's gonna be a very exciting weekend. French fries, pizza. Oh, I'm gonna be so full. This one, this is the paper from the Boho Indigo, a uh, die, can't remember the name of the die. This is the ribbon from the Boho Indigo. This is the uh, milk can that I colored in gray. And then I had a little bit of a silver pen. I just did a little bit of silver, just a little highlight it. And then this one is from the Jar of Flowers. So it's the um, sunflower ones, because I thought that would be kind of cool. So that was my idea for that one. All right, so. Now, do we want to put this half of the way? I think we're going to do it half the way. Yes, half the way. So we will get this going. this way make sure that that is even even Steven there we go and you always want to make sure you're putting your card going the right way so there all right so then I colored these ahead of time with the um, inks but I mean you didn't need to sit and watch me color so I figured you wouldn't mind So this is an off, uh, very vanilla. So I did the, um, the shape behind is in very vanilla. And I don't usually like things sort of floating in the air, but I think it'll be okay for this. Um, do we want to pop this up? Sure, let's pop this one up. And then I was gonna pop this one up because the ribbon in behind is a little bit thicker, so. The hexagon, the hexagons are, so these are the three that I use the most. They're right beside my um, machine. So I use, they're kind of messy right now. This is the Stitch So Sweetly die. So this is a whole bunch of rectangles. And then um, this really nice, these other two nice shapes. Okay, here, let me put my, 3D things. Um, and then you get these other two nice shapes. So I use this one a lot. The other one I use a lot is uh, this one. So this one is the nested label dies. And so it's different hexagons in different widths and stuff. And I really like it because you can also use these for um, if you wanted to, wanted to do a folded uh, piece. So, and you get a ton of them, like there's a good number of them in here. So I use this one quite a bit too. So like you could do, I've done the bigger piece and then you fold it so it becomes like the flap. So I've used this one for that kind of a card. So I use this one, these ones a ton. And then the other ones I use a lot are these ones. And these ones are the stitched shaped dies. And this one you get, see they're kind of messy because I just toss them in there because I'm honest to Pete, I use them all the time. So this one is rectangle, uh, square, oval, and circle. And you get a few different sizes, which is really nice. And then it gives that sort of stitched look um, around them. So like I've used the squares in some of the birthday cards, the circle um, for different sizes, and then the ovals are 
a couple different sizes. So I use this set. So these are the three sets that I use the most. I'm constantly grabbing them for my um, cards. So those are the three sets that I use the most. So this one is the nested, stitch nested label dies. And I put them right beside my, um, right beside my Big Shot because that's how often I use them. So I do have some other ones like the, um, the fancier ones, like these ones here, but I don't use that. They're, they're, they're really fancy. So I don't use these ones. They're not usually my go-to like that I reach for or that I think of when I'm creating. Maybe that's a better answer. Like I don't think of those ones when I'm creating often. I have, it's usually the other one. So it's, yeah. So those are my go-to ones. But the In Good Taste had a really nice uh, set that are some really pretty shaped labels. Um, the In Good Taste, I don't have them here. Um, are upstream, so uh, Marianne, who uh, is our up is my upline. We get together once a month, and sometimes we'll do crafts, and she'll show new products and stuff. And we did a craft with the with that those um, labels, and I really liked them. They were a nice shape, a little different. And they were really nice. So. The only other thing that I think I would like would be ones that have like a scalloped edge because I've seen that right where it has um, the scalloped edge. I think that would look pretty like around the circle to have a, um, a scalloped circle in behind, but I don't have any yet. So. I'm still new to all of this stuff. Like I don't have a ton of stuff to be honest. Maybe one day I'll give you guys a tour of uh, my craft room. And I'm still waiting for that invitation, Pam, to come and uh, uh, organize your craft room. Just say the word, girl, and I am all over it. It'll be lots of fun. So let's see. I'm just trying to see what gems I have. Maybe this one. I don't know what these are from. Yeah, I think you and Laura ordered that one as well. The I believe so, yes. I can't remember exactly though but they are nice I like them I think I'd use them a lot too I just haven't uh... you know trying to pick and choose what I order and stuff so all right so for this card so I did my mock one up for you so you could sort of see so what I did was I took the stamp this one here because I really liked this one but you could use any of them really and I just what I did was I took my oval and we'll do it with this one and I took a pencil and I very lightly I think for this one I'm going to turn it this way I sort of placed it in the middle found where my middle was and I just very lightly did a little line on the edges so I had an idea of where I was going to stamp. And then I used my bigger stamp so I could see where I was stamping. And so for this one, I went all the way around, but we could easily just do like top and bottom kind of a thing. And I'm gonna put my little blotter underneath so do bottom do the top one side and then the other side so for this one I I tried to sort of go more like around the oval kind of a thing And then you color it in. It's really that simple. Get your blends out, get some coloring going on. And then I had, for this one, I, this was, uh, I had a scrap piece of the wood. So I pulled that out, 
which I thought would look really pretty. And then this one here to go over it. And then this one was, I had a, this is crumb cake and go over it like that. And then, you know, you can add, cause I've got some ribbon left over from yesterday. We could add a ribbon, a green one or a white one, green, white, or what else we got over here? Got like a linen one. What do you think? So for the sentiment, what are we going to do? What will we do? Thank you. Hello. Thinking of you. Sometimes I congrats. Thinking of you. Maybe the thinking of you. Um, sometimes when I have a sentiment in mind, um, when I'm doing my cards, but sometimes like this one, I didn't, right? I did the card and then it's like, okay, what sentiment are we going to put in there that will fit? And then I'll go through my cards and see what I have, right? So, so we'll do that. So what kind of bow do we want? Pam, do we want a... The linen gets a bit lost. The green or the white? Okay. And then this one, after we color it, I might do some different colors with this. I'm not going to color it in front of you because you don't want to watch me color. You should probably put this on the right way, though. And I was thinking of the, um, the wooden signs... And that you had, you had mentioned your sister that you'd mailed the pumpkins to your sister. I was thinking if she has a Dollar Tree near her, um, I can give her what she needs to get and she could join us and we could do the, the, the sign making with her. I thought that might be kind of fun and have your sister join us in a Zoom, uh, a Zoom thing. And then she can make make the sign with us. I don't know if she likes that kind of stuff, but that might be fun. It'd be easier if she's a like for her to go and pick up her own versus um, sending it to her. So and my I can see the comments better I I think on my Chromebook, but it just froze. So, you know, make sure we're going the right way. And we are going the right way. Yeah. So you like the green or the white? I think the white kind of gets lost. Green. I could do a bigger one. Like I've got a bigger, let's see. We've got... We could do this one. Could do this one here. This one's kind of pretty. I love this scalloped ribbon. It's so pretty. Just love it. And it makes a nice bow too. Could use this one. Kind of like that. Or do you like the green one better? I find the green one's just a bit narrower. I need something like a bit thicker. And I've got this one, but I think it's too Christmassy. Hmm. Hmm. What else do we have in here? Not sure. This is more orange than pink. But it's the right thickness. Maybe I'll color some of the flowers with that one. You know what I mean? Oh, here we go. This, oh, here we go. I think I found it. Here we go. I think this is the one. Yes. There we go. So those are the options. But I think I like that one. There's the green one. Oops. And here's the lacy one. 
Which one do we like better? Let's see if I can find the comments again. Not a dollar store, a dollar tree. I found it in the dollar tree. It's a big difference. The dollar store is good, but I find the dollar tree has really good craft stuff. So, all right. Do you like the green or do you like the, the lace? The lace bow disappears. Yeah, the green's kind of cute though. I like the green. Put it to the side. There. There, I like that. I'm gonna fix my bow though because it was a bit crumply. Not that you can't have a crumply bow, but it bothered me. So, yeah, a Dollar Tree, because I think to mail it would be too heavy. But she could certainly get, and if she goes soon, because you don't want to wait too long, because they'll sell out really fast. I think they had them. I found them in a box next to their, they were putting their Christmas stuff away and it was in a box. I was like, zoink, I'll take five of those. Thank you very much. So. So there. All right, I'll color this one in later. And because I was having so much fun trying to decide the cards, I did this one. So this one's also from the In Good Taste. I think it almost looks like like a terry cloth kind of a thing. And then this one here is like tile. But I liked the pink. So I was going to go like that. And then this is the squared with vellum. And then a white. And then this is, this one is from the Jar of Flowers. This one here. And then this is the water jug, I guess, from the country home. So honestly, I've been mixing and matching them all because I think they all look really nice and you can do a lot with them. So that was my idea for that one. And then a lacy bow. So we'll put it together. So I think next week I might do some more with the jar punch. Like there's some really nice Christmas ones with the jar punch. So I think I might do some more with that. And then I have, you know, like the jug. So I might start to do a few more Christmassy-esque type. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Yeah, it was the Dollar Tree that I found the, the stuff. I don't know if they can find it in a dollar store. They could probably find something similar. And if she is able to find it, I was thinking, I don't know if she has any of the designer series paper or not, but if she doesn't, um, how I don't know how long things take to mail to her. We could always mail her some of the paper that she would need to, to make, to decorate the sign with. So... If we if we get organized early, Pam, we could we could mail it to her, and then she can join us. That would be fun. And I am all out of adhesive, so we're using white glue. So there we go. That was my idea for that one. And then I thought this looked, I cut a little slit and slid it in so that it actually looked like it was going inside the jar or the vase thing. So. So there we go. This needs a bit of a trim though so that it's not in the there but it needs some gems let's see oh the nice uh elegant faceted gems really pretty 
I think we'll use the pink would go, but I think I like this like little white one here. Yes. 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 Very pretty. Very pretty. There. There we go. Look at that. We got three cards tonight. So fancy. There we go. So there are our three cards using the jar of flowers. So this is the that one and then the tulipy one and then the I don't know that one and then there's another card that I started to make but I didn't finish it in time for tonight but I stamped the top and then it gives you a bunch of like stems so I thought oh that would look cool I think the idea is that you stamp it in the jar so it looks like the stems in the jar but I thought well what if we like stamped it on the flower and then put a ribbon around it and then it'd be like a bouquet of flowers so I had this really pretty ruffly ribbon that I liked that I thought worked really well but I had to I hadn't decided what paper to use to finish this but that was sort of the direction I was going with that stamp with that set there so anyway it's a nice set I like it a lot the jar of flowers and it goes with the jar punch and you know how much I love punches right so so it's a really nice set and you get a little lid and you get like a half thing of water because this can you can do the opposite I think this is meant for like a straw of sorts but I haven't used it like that but maybe I will so anyway fun little set thank you so so much for joining me on a Friday night I hope the rest of your weekend goes really really well I'm wishing everyone a safe and uh, relaxing long weekend and uh Thank you so, so much for joining me this evening and we'll see you on Monday at seven. Take care. Thank you.